since I filmed my Hungry Harvest unboxing this morning, I figured maybe I should just film what I eat in a day. So I'm going to do that. So happy Saturday. Now I'm in my Friday shirt. And let me show you what I am making myself so far. So far today I've had my birth control pill and a little bit of water. And so I'm getting to work on a little bit of a breakfast. Let me show you it. So I've got one super ripe banana in here, two Brazil nuts, two scoops of chia seeds, and then this stuff, which is like Four Sigmatic Hydration or Beauty Elixir, one of their elixir type things when they, I don't know if they sell the same exact ones anymore because those were on clearance when I bought them. I think they like repackaged, reformulated stuff. But I've got about a three-fourths of a clamshell of blueberries, clamshell of blackberries, and then a few strawberries. And then I threw four dates in there as well. I'm just going to blend this up and basically get punched in the face with berries this morning. That is my plan. Then after that, I have um, an iced mocha that I did not hardly drink any of yesterday that I'm going to drink and that's my morning. It's a lot of sugar and I think I'm going to juice some grapefruits too. I added a little bit of water to get things moving so let's go ahead and blend it up. good. I don't care about the temperature of things, but I would say if you like your smoothies cold, add a couple of ice cubes. I am like the queen of room temperature, so <laughs> and it mostly stems from being too lazy to microwave things. So now I don't care if things are hot or cold, hot or cold, but yeah. I am going to drink this. I'm watching a Joseph Lincoln video. I'm going to finish watching that and then probably just veg out on the couch for a little bit until Austin gets out of bed. Austin is making a cake. He got the inkling to do it. We're using this cookbook, Modern Vegan Baking. I'll show you the recipe in a second. Get me hands ready. Looks good. This is the cake recipe we're using. Well, Austin's using. I've done nothing to help with this cake at all. Out of an abundance of laziness, I'm just making these samosas for lunch. And they call, they're, they're in the oven with the cake. So I figured it's easy. The oven's already on. But where are the cooking instructions? Down the bottom? Yeah, called for 375, but we have it on 350, and I decided that's just good enough. I'll just cook it a few minutes longer, but excited. I've had these before, and they are delicious. Here are the samosas. The chutney takes forever to defrost. I just stick it in the uh, toaster oven for a minute, but it's look really good. I'm gonna dig in. So, we went out to Five Below to get a phone charger. And I got some apple now and later, so I ate like two packs of them. And Austin just finished up his cake. It is not the prettiest cake, but oh, it does look pretty good. For, this is this is his first time ever making cake, so this not so bad. Looks better than the whole cake. Yeah, that piece looks better than the whole cake. Yeah, the whole cake, not the prettiest of things, but I, have more I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, it definitely needs more icing. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 
I just don't like vanilla icing. <laughs> the cake itself is good though. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to start getting dinner ready, sort of. We have three massive, massive sweet potatoes. And while we probably only need two for dinner, I'm gonna cook all three since they're all three really big and then we can have leftovers or whatever. So I'm going to get these going. I've got the oven at 425. And I'm just gonna grab one of our silicone mats in case they get a little juicy. Still have a few holes in here. Grab a knife. And stick them in the oven. And that's simple. And then these are probably going to have to go for a while. But once it gets closer to them being done, I think I'm going to cook some green beans to go with these. I like my sweet potatoes with uh, hot sauce, soy sauce, tahini dressing on them. And I might put some avocado on them too and just load the green beans on top. That's how I like them. Austin will probably put some like butter and cinnamon, mm, vegan butter of course, and brown sugar or something on his. He likes a sweeter application, but I'm gonna stick these in the oven. And uh, I'll bring you guys back around once we get to everything else because these are going to have to go like for a long time. I've got dinner going. I cooked up some sugar snap peas and like a tiny chunk of carrot left so I just cut it up and put it in there. Austin made fried rice a few days ago so we had... Um, this mix of corn and peas already in the fridge. And then I added some leftover rice. And then over here I cut one of the sweet potatoes in half because they were massive. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I feel like making my tahini sauce. I might just do some soy sauce with some sriracha veganese. Yeah, I'm gonna let this finish cooking out the moisture. I just added a couple packets of soy sauce to this. And um, yeah, just add it in here and I'll be good to go. That's dinner tonight. I'll let you know, or I'll let you see when it's all done. So here's the final dish. It looks fantastic. And I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and I'm gonna dig in. Good morning. Figured, why not make this video what I eat in a weekend video? So, let me turn you around real quick. I have coffee brewing, and I'm going to juice up these tiny grapefruits real quick. There's only three of them, so it won't be a lot of juice. And I'm gonna just get my liquid on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys how that comes out. So, here's what I was able to get out of my three very small grapefruits. I'm gonna drink this up. I'm gonna probably have some water because I'm like really thirsty. And then some coffee. And then I might eat my leftovers from last night's dinner, the sweet potato and rice mixture concoction because I didn't eat all of it, it was a lot of food. And yeah, the morning. Austin wants to get out in the yard and do some work, but it's like freezing out there and I'm not looking forward to that. So I'm just going to let him keep sleeping. <laughs> okay. So grapefruit juice done. Going to eat some leftovers. As you can see there's not a lot, but it was more than I was okay with throwing away. And so because there's not a lot, I added the other half of the sweet potato that I did not eat yesterday because the sweet potatoes were huge. And actually, let me get a knife because I'm going to need to cut that up. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat that and probably drink a bunch of water because like I mentioned, I'm super thirsty. And then after I eat, I'm going to get some coffee and I've just been doing some reading on the couch. The kitty was laying with me and 
It's been a very relaxing Sunday morning. Got some laundry going and just getting chores and stuff done. Did vacuuming on the whole first floor already. And then I'm letting the vacuum recharge because I really need to vacuum the basement too. And honestly, the upstairs could use a vacuuming too, but I have more like reorganizing and stuff to do up there. I want to reorganize our linen closet that's up there. It's just a small closet, but I want to uh, get it a little more organized. There's lots of sheets and crap up there we just don't use. Like we don't touch them. So I'd like to kind of get rid of anything we don't need. I always have a Goodwill box going for things we don't need that I don't think any of my friends or family would want. I always offer anything like that I think that people would want to my friends and family before I send it to the, to the Goodwill, just cause like, obviously they're not the most reputable of charities to give to, but um, geographically, <laughs> they're the easiest for us to get our stuff to, cause they're the closest one we have. Um, there is another charity, but it's like church related and I'm not always super comfortable with that. I am an atheist and I, I don't know what that church is like, so I don't want to like give, and they're further out anyway, so the Goodwill is the easiest. <sighs> yeah, although I'm pretty sure their CEO makes more money than he should for someone working at a charity, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so this has gone off on a ramble <laughs> for no reason. I'm cleaning the linen closet at some point. I'm cleaning, reorganizing. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, get my coffee. I'm going to show you guys when I get coffee. So there's that. And yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I'm getting my coffee now. I'm gonna use this super cute mug my friend Suzanne got me for a birthday present except I didn't get it till, like way late but we've both been very busy so it's got like an A for Amanda and then a bunch of little cats with glasses it's ridiculous I love it I'm gonna pour myself some coffee and I definitely made a little bit of a mess and then I'm going to add just a little bit of this, which is like one of those Four Sigmatic elixir things. Um, I bought a bunch when they were on sale like a long time ago. And they came in like, these little pouches, which is why when I open it, I put it in a mason jar instead because these pouches are hard to reseal once you open it. If like a little bit of powder gets in the little sealing mechanism, it doesn't work. So I just put them into a mason jar. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of this, like probably less than a teaspoon, into the coffee. And... The lighting here is really weird. Okay. And then, this is where it gets fun. I'm going to use this little frother thing I got from Sir La Table. It was really cheap and, you know, sometimes it just, did I have like a pimple on my face? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Anyway, um, Sometimes it just doesn't work very well, but most of the time it's fine. And I, when I'm adding the powder into the coffee, I like to use this. Same with when I'm using one of those Four Sigmatic powdered coffee packets. I prefer to use this because I feel like it mixes everything in together really well. So there we go. Coffee, good to go else I wanted to talk about is supplements. So I just took um, some monolaurin, which I personally swear by. It is, anytime I run out of it and I don't have it, I am far more susceptible to getting people's sniffles and colds. So I like to take one of them a day. And if I'm sick or if people around me are super sick, I like to take more. But yeah, so I have that I take every day. Well, I don't take my supplements every day. I'll take them like whenever I remember. So it's more like once every few days. And then I took, uh, what else did I take? A vitamin D3. 
And then I took this, which is a probiotic. And it is called, or the brand is Aura, O-R-A, and it's called Trust Your Gut Vegan Probiotic and Prebiotic Supplement. So, my question to you guys is, do you have a vegan probiotic that you swear by, that you love, and that you are absolutely obsessed with? I do not do gummies. I think it's weird. I just want to take the pill and be done with it. Um, so if you have a probiotic supplement that you recommend, definitely let me know. Um, I definitely think this one is good, but it's a little pricey, and I don't know that it's doing anything miraculous compared to maybe hopefully something that might be cheaper. So I'm just looking for recommendations. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. So I've already failed to film a meal. I had some granola with a banana and soy milk and this is all that's left. A dirty bowl. Oops. My bad.